Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very interesting video. As you must be aware, DHNC's lab is changing and one of the things changing is that we are getting new equipments and we are including new features for the lab. And this video today is related to introduce a new digital oscilloscope that will be part of the DHENSYS lab. In this case, today I will be talking about the mm, os digital oscilloscope from the brand Rigol. Rigol is a Chinese brand and the model of this oscilloscope is the DS1054 set, set for Zulu. Well, before we start, I want to invite you to visit the website of the DHENSYS lab. DHENSYS lab is a research initiative that um, I started a few years ago. And the idea of the DHENSYS lab is um, produce research, state-of-the-art research and innovation in terms of the digital energy system. DHENSYS lab is the acronym is the short for Digital Energy System Laboratory that is, that is basically a facility for research in terms of real-time simulations and hardware in the loop between other aspects. And in, in, in when you are doing research in digital real-time simulations and hardware in the loop, of course you need some measurement devices a very high quality measurement devices that they allow you to capture the data and of course to process that data to produce scientific results. And today I have the pleasure to introduce you the very specific uh, digital oscilloscope from the brand Rigol and this is the front this is the front size of the Rigol DS1054 set. And this is a digital oscilloscope. And one of the beautiful characteristics of this digital oscilloscope, and one decision point for us to get in this uh, oscilloscope, is that this is a four channel digital oscilloscope 50 megahertz and one giga sample per second. The idea of the four channels is very important for us because, as you are aware, we are doing a lot of research in electrical power systems and they are basically three-phase systems. So four channels allow us to record at the same moment four different voltages wave in this digital oscilloscope. But without further delay, without further delay, I would like to show you the real device and introduce to you several of the very interesting characteristics of this digital oscilloscope. Well, now let's go to the lab and see those features. Well, here we are at the lab and right now in front, in front of you, you have this amazing digital oscilloscope. This oscilloscope is from the brand Rigol, coming from China, and the model, as you can see over here, is the DS1054 set. This is a oscilloscope, and the between is 50 megahertz, and also, as you can see, the maximum sample rate here is one giga sample per second. The vertical scale of this device is between 1 megavolt per division until 10 megavolt per, per division. As you can see, you can plot at the same time at the screen four different channels. And this is one of the advantages and one of the reasons that we have this device at the lab. Because we are interested in an energy system and electrical power system, traditionally, they are three-phase system. So, as a consequence, using four channels, we have the possibility of recording at the same moment, at the same time, four different channels. And as you can see over here, the maximum voltage for each one of those channels is 300 volts RMS. One interesting feature of this device is also that it has a standard memory depth 
about 24 mega points. Also, this device has here this amazing screen. We are talking about a seven inch uh, WVGA. That means that we have 800 pixels by 480. And this is a TFT LCD display with a high intensity. In this case, we have 64 intensity grading levels. This is an amazing device that also has the possibility of measurement in automatic mode until 33 waveform parameters and also perform a statistic with a um, built-in FFT that allows you to select and to define very specific windows and functions. This is a very compact device this device is able to provide us the quality of information and recordings that we need at the lab. One interesting point here is that near to the power uh, to the power switch, we have the USB connectivity. Over there, we can press the button and record the data and also capture the screen and everything will be recorded to the USB, the serial connection over there. This is very important because in the lab, we are interested to record data in order to make sure that all the measurements are appropriately done. Here, there is a, a, a area for the, ver uh, for the horizontal scale, also for the trigger. And to be honest, another very important feature for us of this oscilloscope, let me turn around this oscilloscope for a second. If you look at the back, of course, there is the traditional power plug. This is the traditional power plug, and this device is working between 100 and 240 volts with a range of frequency between 45 to 440 hertz. That is for the power supply. But the interesting point here is the two, uh, uh, the two elements for connectivity. As you can see, there is a RG45 here connector, and that is for the local area network. And that connectivity is extremely important for us at the lab because this connectivity allowed remote control for, uh, for recording measurements. And that is a very important feature because we want to get access to provide access, remote access to people to the lab. Also, you have here a USB connectivity. This is the, the classical Siri USB connectivity, USB-B. And from here also you can connect to the you, you can connect to the to the laptop. Okay. Let me turn around in order to finish this video because today I have introduced some of the general feature for you, just a workaround of this digital oscilloscope. And we are talking about this amazing oscilloscope, the Rigol DS1054. This, this oscilloscope right now is off, but in the next videos, we will be using this device for several reasons, especially for recording data from analog signals in our real-time simulation lab, DNC's lab. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the introduction of this Regal DS1054 set, the digital oscilloscope. This short video was basically a simple introduction, but in the next coming videos, you will see more actions related to this. Few videos will be related to the connectivity of this digital oscilloscope to the real-time simulation, but also calibrations and many other things. For that reason, I highly suggest please stay in touch and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and a like is very welcome. And I will say this is the end of this video today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you at the next video.